Fort Tyson plants are shutting down, including one in Arkansas. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Chelsea Helms. This comes after Tyson posted a $417 million loss in the fiscal third quarter, which ended July 1st. Just a year ago, Tyson reported a $750 million increase in that same quarter. Tyson says one plant in North Little Rock, two in Missouri, and one in Indiana will close in the first two quarters of fiscal year 2024, which starts in October. All of this comes after Tyson closed its Van Buren plant in March and laid off 15% of senior leadership in April. Donnie King, Tyson's president and CEO, says, quote, the difficult decision to close four chicken facilities demonstrates our commitment to bold action and operational excellence as we drive performance, including lower costs and improving capacity utilization and build on our strategy of making Tyson Foods stronger in the long term. The North Little Rock location has been open for more than 50 years now. Several employees have been there for decades. One worker who has been with the company for two and a half years says employees were told one reason for the closure is the plant was losing money. Uh, it was somber. Uh, people's heads were down. Uh, shocking. It was a lot of shock. You know, just disbelief. The North Little Rock Chamber says it remains committed to finding these Tyson employees jobs within the city. But officials with Tyson have said they will offer relocation benefits for those who apply to other Tyson locations. For more on the impact these closures could have on you, we welcome the Assistant Professor of Agricultural Economics over at the University of Arkansas, Jada Thompson. Professor Thompson, thanks for joining us uh, today. We have four plant closures, none of them in northwest Arkansas, one in Arkansas in the Little Rock area. But even though it's not in our area, will we see an effect here? Yeah, there's always going to be uh, pros and cons and, uh, you know, potentially what we're going to see is some of, the, some of the disruption happening because of these closures um, will increase the kind of demand on the processing plants that we have in this area. So we might see additional transportation or uh, and trucks coming in the area and using of those facilities. We talked about some of the losses that Tyson's reporting. What kind of impact does this have on the industry as a whole, whether that be on other meat processors or, you know, those farmers and ranchers who work within these companies? Well, poultry is definitely an important part of the rural community, and, and I think that those farmers are um, definitely concerned about, you know, closures, uh, I, think, I think, looking for your, your value in, in terms of your income. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, as, as industry as a whole, there was a little bit of a decrease because of Tyson's impact, but hopefully there's a rebound that comes back out of this. You know, Tyson says part of this is they will re relocate some of the production at these facilities to other areas, so in the end, could there be a community out there that actually benefits from this? Absolutely. I think that one of the things was they wanted to have stronger utilization of the facilities they already had and be more efficient. Um, and so what's possible is that we're going to see the shift going to maybe those facilities that are newer, that are using labor more efficiently. Uh, we might see more shifts happening. At, let's say the Springdale plant gets more shifts or something. Um, and so there's a possibility of communities benefiting slightly. Obviously, there's, there's losses in the communities that are losing those plants. And we're expected to now be probably paying a little more out of pocket for me. Can you speak to that? Yeah, so there's potentially going to be the short-term impact that production is going to reduce because we have these plant closures. And because of yeah. that, we might pay more at the grocery store. All things that we don't like to hear when big announcements like this come, especially because since COVID-19, we've seen those prices increase pretty drastically. Absolutely. And, you know, and I hope that these are short-run effects and that we see uh, the longer-term impact is that more efficiencies in production. Right, Professor Thompson with the U of A joining us today. Thanks for your time. Thank you.